One of the big things that almost all of my Women Academy students have in common is they've been hurt by men, by the masculine, by their fathers, by men they've dated, by their ex-husbands. And when you have been deeply hurt by a man, it becomes rather difficult to learn how to fully open up your heart again and trust a man. Because for a woman, you have to put yourself in a vulnerable position with a man. You're being led by him. You're trusting his vision or you need to trust his vision. You're opening up your heart and you're putting yourself in a position where you could get really hurt. And if your history has been one where you have been hurt, maybe multiple times, it becomes increasingly difficult to learn how to trust again. I'm going to show you how to rebuild that trust with a man, what you need to do and kind of why you've been stuck not being able to rebuild that trust and maybe becoming even more untrusting over time. So hello, I am Zach Rohde and I am here to lead you into creating the relationship of your dreams by inspiring a man into cherishing you. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell below so you get further notices about future videos that I do when they come up and be sure to like this video because it's going to be a fantastic one. So You've been hurt before. Probably if you're watching this far, you have been hurt by a man, and pretty much every woman has, right? We live in a world where women get hurt because we don't have nearly as many devotional men as we should. We don't have devotional fathers. We don't have devotional boyfriends. We don't have devotional husbands. So women get hurt. That's just the way it works. It sucks. I'm here to help fix that, but that's kind of where we are right now. And the question is, if you've been hurt before, by a man, by your father, by boyfriend, husband, random man, date. How do you fix that? How do you regain your faith and trust? Because here's the situation. When you've been hurt, when you've been deeply hurt, you are going to consciously or unconsciously go into certain control patterns to try to stay safe. I'll give you an example of this. If you have opened up your heart to a man and you tried sharing your feelings with him and he kind of stabbed a knife in your heart and he dismissed you or gaslit your feelings, told you that you're overthinking things, you're too sensitive, you're too emotional, he basically communicated that you're a burden in some kind of way, maybe he abandoned you, maybe he argued with you, well, now you're going to have some trust issues, right? And now you are going to be more likely to go into a control pattern of when a man does something where you your feelings get hurt in some kind of way, you either avoid sharing your feelings, you just kind of say nothing, or you ask questions to try to like, because you're going to feel some anxiety or some kind of hurt and you want to make that feeling go away. You might try to ask questions to try to get the clarity that you want and need so that you can feel better. Or you might go into judging. You might start judging him or you might do something else. But all of those are control patterns. And all of those control patterns are going to pretty much ensure that the man doesn't step up and isn't inspired to take care of you to fix the problem to make you feel better. All those control patterns are you trying to stay safe by protecting your heart, by not being vulnerable, right? And you do this unconsciously. It's not necessarily that you're consciously thinking like, okay, so I got to give some judgments or I got to like ask you a bunch of questions so that I can just protect my heart and hide it. You just do it unconsciously on autopilot and it ends up ruining your love life over and over again. Because understand men, what do men or at least relatively healthy men want and need from a woman? They need to be able to feel her vulnerable heart. They need to be able to connect with her heart because she's feeling the feelings in her body and she's sharing them vulnerably. Now, very briefly, not going into this in this video, when most people use the word vulnerable, they think that they're being vulnerable when they're not. Okay, Vulnerability means something very different to most women compared to the way that I mean it. And I know this because I've worked with hundreds of women and when they thought they were being vulnerable, I mean, I know that's not vulnerable. Like, I, I won't say this, but like, it doesn't inspire me. I know it doesn't. I know it's not vulnerable because it's not inspiring me. I trust my body in this. I'm a man. My masculine instinct knows. I also know when a woman is vulnerable and it doesn't matter. Like, is it my daughter? Is it my wife? Is it my mom? Is it a client? Is it a stranger? When a woman is truly vulnerable, I feel care. I want to take care of her. I want to give her whatever that she needs. Not because I'm uncomfortable with my own empathy 
pain that's coming up for me, but because I just care about her all of a sudden. I just want to help. It just inspires me. Okay. So masculine men need a vulnerable woman. But if you're afraid to show it because you've got trust issues, then you're going to do stuff to ensure that you get hurt over and over again. Now, maybe the hurt would be less bad than it would if you fully opened your heart and then he hurt you, but it's still going to hurt a bit, right? Like if you're on a date or if you're dating a guy and you're not fully vulnerable with him because you don't want to be hurt again, and then he eventually decides he doesn't want to keep seeing you because he needed to connect with you on that level, well, that will hurt, right? So you're just going to keep getting hurt over and over again. There's, there's no way out by hiding. Like the only way to heal is to do the thing that's really scary, which is to fully show your heart. The problem is, is that's easier said than done. I, it's typically not going to be a, okay, Zach said this on a YouTube video, so I'm going to go do it and I'm going to go fully share my heart. And it's not going to be that easy for two reasons. One reason is because you you don't even know what vulnerability means, okay? And I, like when I say this, I like the, my clients initially don't know this. Many of my clients have followed me for months. Some have followed me for years and they've read my books and they still don't fully get it. Like this is a thing that for many women does require actually expert coaching. Now, I'm not saying, hey, you definitely need to work with me, pay me a bunch of money in my academy program to, to be able to do that. Yeah, you can shift on your own. Some women do get it. Like some women, it's like an instant thing and it's easy. And for those women, fantastic. Like I'm really happy for you. It's less, less work for me. But for a lot of women, it's like a foreign language to be vulnerable. So you might try being vulnerable and then it doesn't work. And then he gaslights you or dismisses you or he argues with you. He says he shouldn't feel that way or whatever. And now you feel hurt again. And then you're like, well, Zach said this in this YouTube video. I guess he doesn't know what he's talking about because I was vulnerable and like I really like this guy and I just pushed him away. No, I mean, yes, there's going to be some men who truly won't be able to respond to a woman's vulnerability. But it's much, much more likely that you just weren't actually being vulnerable. And then the other thing is, though, you need to learn how to communicate what you truly need in these moments because here's the thing if you're like let's say you feel really hurt by something a man did and by hurt like that's not actually a feeling but the feeling is sad or maybe angry or you felt some shame or whatever then you also feel a ton of anxiety to share the the shame or the sadness or whatever because you're afraid of being hurt you're afraid of him not responding well you're not even going to like physically it's going to be an almost impossible thing for you to fully open up your heart because it's like a muscle that's contracting at the same time to try to protect you, right? It's a self-protection mechanism. So you might not be able to actually be that vulnerable right away. So what do you need to do? You need to learn how to use feminine communication to inspire him and inform him with what's going on with you, but also inspire him to care about what's going on for you so that he can do something about it. So and that he's inspired to do something about it, right? Like, Asking for help with your anxiety is a good way to start. If you're feeling if you're feeling anxious, if you ask him now, he's like, oh, you're feeling anxious. You know, why are you feeling anxious? And then you can have a conversation about it. And of course, you're going to need to know a lot more about feminine communication to communicate exactly what's going on. Do it in a way where you're not blaming him or judging him. You're, you're fully making it about you because all of feminine communication is about you so that he can open you up and get you to the point where you are sharing your shame or sadness or whatever. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a foundation of trust with a man. And over time, you're going to be able to trust him more and more. And it's going to be easier for you to be vulnerable with him, truly vulnerable, so that he'd never want to hurt you because he's so inspired to take care of you. His protective instinct is so much online. And not only that, but you're also creating a foundation of trust with the masculine in general. Because if you go on, let's just say you went on like 50 dates and you just hadn't found Mr. Right, but you learn this feminine communication, you learn how to be permissive, you learn how to share your feelings, you learn how to share the problems that are coming up. And men aren't showing up perfectly, but you communicate what's coming up for you and they care over and over and over again, relatively consistently. Well, now that's going to undo a lot of the damage that happened in your childhood or with dates when you didn't know how to use feminine communication because instead of them just responding badly, they're actually showing over and over, 
I care. I care. I care. I want to help you with this hurt. I want to help you with this pain. I want to help you with this fear. And now it becomes increasingly easy for you to trust more and more. Like trust isn't something that's going to, like I said, it doesn't come on like a light switch. It takes time. But the more that you do this, the more that you're going to establish this trust. And it's really, here's the thing. It's only possible with feminine communication. There's no real way that you can establish a high level of trust with a man or men without some level of feminine communication, ideally a high level of feminine communication. Why is that? It's because men respond well to feminine communication, especially masculine men, and they don't respond well, especially masculine men, the men that actually are safe and amazing, the kind of men that you want, if, they, if you don't use feminine communication. And so you're going to get positive reinforcement if you use feminine communication and if you're vulnerable with that communication and you're going to get negative reinforcement and get more trust issues if you don't. Feminine communication is the key. It will help you learn how to trust the masculine and at the same time shift your self-worth issues too because the more that you heal your trust issues with the masculine, the more that you realize I am worthy of care. I am worthy of devotion. I am worthy of being cherished. I'm worthy of my feelings being taken care of. And you are. You are. I'm telling you, you are worthy of that. If you don't believe that fully, it just, your body doesn't realize it because it hasn't gotten that message consistently throughout your life. I'm here to help you make the shifts possible so that you know it on the deepest level and you're able to show up in that way, which means being fully vulnerable, using feminine communication all the time, letting go of all control all the time. This is what I help women do in our academy program where you like, because I will be that man for you. And so will my team, we will give you consistent positive reinforcement until you're able to learn the communication well enough to put that into practice out in the world and get those devotional responses from men. And that's also what I show you how to do on our polarity masterclass at polaritymasterclass.com, where we'll show you this communication, show you what it looks like, we'll role play it for you. We've got a woman in our program, in our academy who will role play it and, and show you as well, so that you can go out and apply it. Right, And for some of you who do our masterclass, you'll be like, this is the most amazing thing ever. I definitely want to work with this uh, with this guy. This is awesome. And for some of you, you'll just take what you learned and it'll make your love life way better. You'll shift way faster. And I'm happy for, for all of you as well. But you got to learn this stuff one way or another. Whether you work with me in the academy or not, you got to learn this stuff because otherwise you're going to struggle. You're going to really struggle to regain that trust in the masculine so that you can be taken care of. PolarityMasterclass.com. All of my links are right below this video. It's in the description. So just open that up. Go through the links. You go to PolarityMasterclass.com. Find out our next masterclass. But also check out my other links as well. I got some great freebies in there. I want to make sure that you have as much information and as many resources as you can afford and want to make these shifts as quickly as you can. So... Go to that description. Go to PolarityMasterclass.com. Sign up. That's the one time-sensitive one. So we want to get you on the next one. But go to the other stuff as well and check it out. Check out everything I have to offer so that so we can get your, your relationship, your dreams. So you can inspire a man into cherishing you.